storm dogs that would not bark are the ones who feel the just vengeance of an offended God. Men, maidens, and little children all perish together. Judgment begins first in the house of God. <coughs> now as the numerous phase typology turns around to its next aspect, Esau and Jacob are seen in a further representation of two sinful class. Esau both by the color of his skin and by the significance of his name after it was changed from Esau to Edom. Jacob by the meaning of his name before it was changed. For it was changed from Jacob to Israel. Singularly enough, as was the color of Esau's skin red, so was the meaning of his name Edom. And as he failed to appreciate and cherish the paternal gift, never fulfilling the meaning of his birth name, he that finishes. It is seen that his new name, unlike Jacob's new name, signifies not advancement, but rather failure to advance, going on unrestrained <coughs> in his carnal ways, remaining in his inborn red card. Hence, the class of leaders which he typifies are to lose out, never to finish God's appointed work, and never to be transformed from sinners to saints. What a loss! That sums up the grizzle that is telling us, brothers and sisters. <coughs> God doesn't change, and he usually writes what will happen. And even though we have a chance to make that not a reality, he knows that it will be. Let's look at the Bay leaders. The Bay color denotes strength. <coughs> They, however, are not in the front, the forefront. They are pulling in other directions, trying to finish the work of God, walk to and fall through the earth. Since they are in the background, they must be laymen. I wonder why we say laymen shall finish the work. We have proven that from study. Laymen one day lead the chariot. Laymen will take over the chariot, and that's when the gospel work will be finished. Not with the present leadership, or with the present programs, the present plans, and what they are doing presently. <coughs> now for the ex explanation of the climatic and emblematic part of the symbolization, we must go to the past and present record of the Laodicean Church. As the message to every church is addressed to the angel, to whom the angel is unto the angel of the church, unto the angel of the church. <clears throat> Why think about that? angel of the church. Well, we soon see as the message to every church is addressed to the angel who has charge over the candlestick, the church, Revelation 1.20. John was instructed, 
and unto the angel of the church of Laodicea write. Revelation 3.14. Ah. <clears throat> uh, well, it tells us, I know that word. But they are neither cold nor hot, but wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked, as we say here. <coughs> and naked. Uh, <coughs> and no, it's not. Uh, can you imagine? Revelation 3, 16 and 17. What else could this angel be but the earthly one who is given charge over the candlestick? Plainly, therefore, he and the servant whom God has made ruler over the household to give them meat in due season. Matthew 24, 4, 5. Are identical, both of whom clearly represent the, le the church leadership, not the membership. <clears throat> uh, so this phase we will do a little more in that at another study, but it's clear that we are seeing so we'll pick up at the churches to finish this part. But it's clear that the phases, the parts that we have dealt with, um, <clears throat> are, telling, are, are telling us exactly what the future holds for us as Seventh-day Adventists. God has identify these people and he has put his stamp of approval among them on them uh, in that is the seventh Adventist is a call out people for this time but we have slackened up so God will step in and fix the slack problem I want to thank you for these few moments we have spent together. I hope that there are some benefits. Continue to study the foundation truth that some are there in the Bible, well, all are in the Bible, but it has to be revealed in time. We have our portion our fair share of revelation, not traditions. And so I pray that we all will dig into that. The word of God says, sink the shaft deep in the mind of truth. And so it's my prayer for all of us that we will be among the Bay, le bay leadership or the Bay group. <coughs> Oh, may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, the comfort, the rest, remain and abide with us now and forever. Amen. All right, share the video. Run it a couple times and make sure, you know, understand, read for yourself, and step up for God. Amen.